Hey, Wastelanders. Wanderer here. Welcome back to London. So I've had some time to think about our predicament that we're in. or Not really a predicament, but uh, think about our situation that we're in with these vagabonds and how they've been utter pricks to us, used us and abused us and bullied us and just been as shitty as possible to us, pretty much. Um... I'm gonna go and drop off the books for this guy, I think. Because the book guy seemed okay. Um, but you know what, I'll hold off on that for now. Because I want to find the other book still. But, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm done with these people. <laughs> they're all jerks, man. They're all, they're all jerks. Um, maybe the ghouls up at Thameshaven are better? I think I'd like to go up there and see if I can, uh find a better place up there, I don't know, find better people or something, because these gangs are just, they're assholes, man. But, you know, the thing I want really more than anything right now is just a place to uh, be able to dump my stuff off and craft some workbenches and stuff and, and all that kind of stuff, you know? That's really it, I just want to be able to do all that stuff, do the, you know, start crafting and, and leveling up and bringing stuff back and, and creating my little, little own empire, you know? These people have done nothing for me. Oh, sure, they gave me a small little reward, a couple hundred caps, whenever I'm spending a lot more than that in uh, ammunition and medical supplies and putting my life on the line for them, and they give me a hundred caps. Ooh, boy. What a, what a great the hell is that? Oh, are these these horses? Slept near. You guys friendly? Apparently they are. They they have they have the coconut clopping sound, but they're not on anything that would cause that kind of sound. That's kind of funny. It's a little funny. Anyway, they've done nothing for me, really. Um, just barely enough to keep me on, really. So, I feel absolutely no loyalty towards them at all. Could really care less about them. And I think I'm done being their errand boy, and I'm done working for them in general. Ah, oh, yes, the observatory. So I'd like to um, go up towards Tameshaven and check out that area a bit more and see if there's maybe some reasonable people over there and uh, hopefully look for a settlement along the way and explore a bit more along the way. I just, I hate that I don't have anywhere to put my stuff, you know? I just want to have a settlement that I can dump my stuff off at and be able to bring stuff back to and hoard stuff, as is my nature, so that I can start leveling up and crafting things, and... Are you... hostile? Whatever, you're dead. You're 15 experience. Probably only because I got... a proc on my idiot savant. See so yeah. that? Anyway... Come back here. Why are you underground? You gonna attack me? Be hilarious if you did. Two shots, really? I guess it is a crappy gun. Why are you guys... I mean, you're irradiated, obviously, but you're so... weird. Weirdly hostile. Parlay, huh? As in... Like... Bartering? I don't know. We're going to tame Saban. Screw these people. Why are you so tanky? Ugh. 
Caravan, Asmo, Asmo, my friend, I could use a vendor. Oi, if you're looking to make the most oh, of it's this guy. Things, ain't no better investment than wrapping your... Uh, let's see what you got. Plenty of stock. Take your pick. You still have the, uh, the face bug though, huh? That is some pretty nice armor, I'm not gonna lie, actually. Quite heavy, but uh, much better than what I'm wearing right now. Whoa. Uh, actually pretty... Well, it's 303 ammo damage, though. Yeah, it's not that good, I guess. It's not any better than ours, really. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's not really any better than ours. It just has a 303 receiver instead of the uh, 32 receiver. Well, I guess we have. Yeah, no, it's not better than ours. Um, the trapper stuff is actually a lot better than what we're wearing. We are gonna lose some carry weight, but I have, I think, enough that I can go without that. So let's see here. This is, is this marine armor or is this, um, that's trapper armor. This is actually worse than ours, but I think only because it's not heavy. We're going to lose the pocketed nature of ours, but I mean, might be worth it. Honestly, 13 and 13 for the leg here. Yeah, uh, more than double. The chest piece, what are we looking at for the chest piece? What do we have for our chest piece? If I can have power armor, I gotta have some better armor than what we have now, because we got our asses kicked. Oh, uh, eight and six for our chest piece? Why does it say less on the coastal armor then? Oh, it's because... Wait a minute. Is this is this an overall armor? Is this like a full body armor? This is going to replace our... Um, vault suit, isn't it? Well, but it would... It would be... It would still be plus plus. I'm not sure why... Or is this... This must be an overall armor. Yeah, it must be like... It, it does everything. Okay. So we don't want that because it's a full armor. We want something that's going to give us... We just want like a chest piece. Yeah, I see. Okay. We'd want a trapper chest piece, right? It's not a heavy one, but it's better than what we got. Okay, so we get a trapper chest piece. We're we'll buying left leg, right leg, need a left arm, and a helmet. Is there a heavy left arm? We got a left leg right here. Or we already got one of those. There's no, um... There's no heavy... Okay, that's fine. Just get, um... A right... No, a left arm, I think. And then we keep our combat helmet. Yeah, just get a regular left arm. Then we keep our combat helmet, and then we're good. 400 caps, we can afford that, that's fine. We can sell some stuff too. I think these random books we can just sell, right? Like, there's no real use for these. As far as I know. Let's go by value here. Because we have some valuable stuff here. The models and such, yeah. I'm not sure if those lunch boxes have any value or not, but I mean, whatever. They have some weight, so I think they have any some weight. I guess they don't. They are worth quite a bit. Maybe we can make bombs out of them or something. Here we go. Whole bunch of model parts there. Textbooks. We're not going to need those, most likely. I mean, if we do, we can come back and buy them, I guess. Um... about it. 
junk wise we can sort by value again right we got the uh, silver bar here you go buddy silver bar bunch of money there we got the shipment of antiseptic but i think i want that honestly flashlight yeah sure cigarettes there you go gold watches why not it's a bit heavy for what's in it. I don't think we need any of these things. These expired cigarettes, you know? They're not, we're not going to need them for anything. Just sell them. It's one of the stuff I might want. Ammo wise, I don't know what's gonna be good. No, this is really have has high value, so I don't really want to sell any actually. Weapon wise, um, I didn't look at the claw hammer yet, and yeah, this is the this is the this is the reward they gave me, a claw hammer. I I mean, thanks. I for nothing like that's a really terrible reward. I don't think I need this thing for anything. We've already got. That covered with this. Quick calibrated 9mm. This one's just better in every way. I uh, already have a good service rifle. Can sell two of those. Don't need the double barrel shotgun. We got the combat shotgun. Got the auto crude gun. We want to keep one of those around. I don't think I need... I think I can actually just get rid of this and use this instead, yeah? Well, this has got the nice uh, magazine, though. Okay, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep both. Get rid of one of these. We're already making money, so... That's fine. I think I'll sell some of the dog food. Is this addictive, apparently? I don't know, it's weird. Okay, got anything else I want, Asmo? I mean, the revolver is okay, but it's not that good. I think I can pass on that. Nothing else I really need here. My helmet's better than the lobster trap helmet, so... I might want some ballistic fiber later on, but oh wait, that's, that's way too much, yeah. Even the leather is way too much. I can get leather way easier than that. Just the, just the armor, I think. Is good. Oh, I guess I could sell some of my armor too. Let me equip this and then I'll barter them again and sell my armor. Most likely. Yeah, so we're at 37 to 44 right now. We swap all this stuff in. Yeah, like doubled our armor pretty much. Let's put that on again. I guess armor fatigues are whatever. I'll keep them around for style points. Um, we do lose some carry weight. How much is the carry weight? This is the left leg. It's only five. It's only five for a pocketed in this mod, guys. So it's not that big of a deal, really. Like we're not. Won't break and won't break the bank. Got plenty of stock. It's it's not that bad. It really isn't that big of a deal. Like. The pocketed thing. Deep pocketed might be better, but it seems like it's pretty heavily nerfed in this. That's how much it was in Frost. It was like 5 and 10. 5 for pocketed and 10 for deep pocketed. It was like it just kind of took care of the weight of the armor, which it seems odd to do that because of how much carry weight you get from... Uh, you get so much carry weight from uh, Drang. That just seems odd that you don't get very much here. Oh well. This is a new look, guys. You might not like how it looks, but it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, maximum performance, so. Get our musket load here, just in case. We're going south. Need to go north. Get our trusty, mighty musket out of here and see if we need to use it for anything. Um, 
So yeah, we're gonna go see the, the Thames folk. Because they're not jerks. Yeah. I hate, I hate their sounds. I really do. I hate their sounds. Oh, hey, we can go inside of here. And they're still moving. Yeah, the, the vendors are just, the prices are kind of absurd. They're absurdly high. Are we going... Yeah, kind of the right way. We gotta go... West up here. Hmm... That's a bit disturbing. Rest in peace. Let's get a cooking station over here. The fifth column sucks ho horse meat ding dong. Kilroy was here. Horse meat ding dong. You, it's the post-apocalypse, man. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> Laundromat. Sure. I actually need some XYZ cleaner to make some more Mentats. So, sure. Hey, bobby pin is nice. Hmm. Secret door? Just kind of odd. Oh, hi. Hmm. Power box turned on the power. So, just a side note, I mean, maybe I just got lucky there, but I did take the perk that makes it so that um, my power attack should do less damage, but yet that was a sprinting power attack, and I definitely one-shot that ghoul. Maybe I would have one-shot him anyway, but it was an arm hit. I got an arm hit on him, so it wasn't even like it was a... Um, it wasn't even like it was a... Uh, head hit or anything, you know? Okay, we turn the power back on here. Uh, alright. Not much in there. Right, there's that dome, saw that previously. Hmm, we got some activity over here, like someone's actually using these buildings. You know, like it's Chimneys puffing smoke and everything would make you think someone's active in this building, actively using it. 
Oh, right, this building. I guess we were over here. I guess I could sleep for a few hours. Till it's daytime, at least. Get brighter out for y'all to see. Because we don't strictly need sleep anymore. Okay. So we gotta go across, um... The river, I guess? I don't... Or do we have to go around this way? Surely not. There's gotta be a bridge we can take across or something. A railway bridge, perhaps? Best just go at a bit of a run if you're... Afraid. Okay, we made a cross. Cool. That is a railway, so that's good to know. See, I'm gonna treat this like Frost now, pretty much, guys. Like, I'm I'm done with these fuckers. Like, to hell with all of them. I mean, if I meet someone nice that's actually nice, then I'll stick by him, but I really have uh, no sympathy for whatever comes to the gangs or whatever. You treat people like crap, you get crapped on. Pretty simple rule. Not even like they had to be super nice or anything, or, you know, just not be utter pricks. That's, that's the criteria. Don't be utter pricks. And they couldn't even pull that off. Here, like the faint sound of something, like someone muffled. Somebody in here? I don't know. Down the radio. There it was again. Maybe my character's losing it. There it is again. Maybe it's ambient noise. I don't know. Ooh. All right. Can't go in there, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Just making sure. Where am I going here? Uh, I don't want to go this way. How did I end up on this side of that? I didn't want to go on this side of that. I wanted to go across to the west. I guess I got off the tracks too soon. Scavenger, eh? I see some fortifications up there. Not giving me a... a pip, unfortunately. Is this Damestown? No. Train crash. It's where I came out at? I'm not sure what this is. Looks interesting. 
Are there people here? Huh, there's a um, holotape here. I can't activate it, though. Must have gotten, like, sucked into the terrain. It's like an abandoned town here. And we got a cooking stove. Got a bar here with taps. What a safe, very nice. Well, I've found better safes, that's for sure. And a filthy, stinking rad roach. Whatever, we can take care of that with melee. Yeah, I have way too much health. That was a bloody mess, Brock. Hmm. It's a bunch of spray paint. Okay. Not sure what the point of even that area is. What would have been the purpose of that? Yeah, leeches. Disgusting. Just use the other gun, my god. I don't think going in the water would be advisable. Probably full of, full of radiation. Not sure I want to try to melee the leeches to death. They're probably pretty nasty to take on that way. Sure, we can get around this. Oh, never mind, invisible wall. Ah. No, invisible wall. Can't go that way. Speaking of invisible walls, you probably save when I'm trying to go through them because you never know when you might break the game. Okay, this is back across. Need to go this way, yeah, yeah. Got to find a way through over here. A big horn. Ain't seen any big horners since uh, New Vegas. I guess somebody brought them over. Wild mongrel. These are all big horn calves, but I don't see any big horns. Just big horn calves. Big horns themselves were pretty mean in New Vegas. And they were pretty scary too, actually.
Blueberry. Yeah, can't can't go up that way, I guess. Made around though. A lot of separation in this mod compared to... I mean, I guess Fallout 4 did it too. Fallout 3 especially did it. Yeah, a lot of separation between areas. Where you just can't go... through there, you know? Okay, nothing there really. A dog, and it's a friendly dog, and yeah, I have a slot. Well, sure, why not? It's experience, which I need lots of. Oh, hey. Um, not what I was going for, actually. Can I just get in here? Yeah, there we go. Uh, no good gun, though. I thought maybe I for sure I'd get a good gun here. Still, it's free ammo. I can't really complain. Drop one of our tactical guns here. We can't go any higher, though. I guess that makes sense. Shouldn't really be surprised by that. Okay. At least we can go back up here. Right then, a friendly place. Hooligans, raiders. Prilla Dog Food Factory. Dog food place, eh? At least the fog's gone. Stray dog fighting, I guess, the regular dog. Rest in peace. I also saw hooligans, though. Oh, they're coming. Oh, good doggy. Hi. I saved your dog. I'm gonna loot these other dogs first before I come over there and talk to you. Plus, there were hooligans over here. Haven't tried this gun yet. I guess I should try it. Well, let me get... Tactical pips on these guys first. Never mind. I'll just kill him with this. Oh, it's the brew thing. Don't have any enough pound coins. Bye. 
bunch of free stuff here. Just having a look. Okay. Don't really have room for any of this stuff right now, so... Gotta ignore my looting instinct except for ammo and... Money, pretty much. And... Chems, I guess. Didn't really see the dogs, but whatever. I've got plenty of food. Not like I need food anyway, we're not playing survival mode. Right, so, um, hi. You should consider enlisting. We need people like you. Mind the gap and all that. Enlisting? For what? The Tommies, huh? Militants? Well, they're not immediately hostile, which is something. The fuck is your problem? Um. You seem to be the one with the problem. Me? I've done nothing wrong. Me bloody dogs are dead because of you. What? It. Your dogs? They were mine. Churchill and the others. Some were strays, maybe. But mine? I fed them every day. They were basically feral. Your actual dog is fine. Get over it. That ain't true. They took a liking to most people. Your ugly mug must have set them off. Uh, to be honest, he's always getting picked on by the other strays. He really needs a home. With me work and all, I don't really have time to take care of the little guy properly. Hmm, why not make amends for everything? Think you could adopt him? Churchill's his name. That's an odd turn from the guy who just yelled at me for quote-unquote killing his dogs who were actually strays that actually attacked your real dog that th this writing makes no sense at all. Um, yeah, sure, I'll take him. Great. He's a real good boy. You do right by him, you'll do right by you. Just give him a little pat on the head if you want to take him with you. He's smart enough to work out the rest. Anyway, enough about the dog talk. Why are you here? Um... I'm looking for Thameshaven. Thameshaven? Don't know why I'd want to go there. But if you insist, keep following the road, past the bunker, past Fesco, then turn right. Keep going, and you'll reach the old tube station. It's down there. So, what is this place? This here is the Prilla Dog Chum Factory. We're the number one canned goods supplier in London. Okay. Uh, do you have a doctor here? A doctor? Here. You're having a... Uh, I'm not supposed to talk about our health and safety practices. <laughs> it's in me contract. Okay. Got any work? I don't know. Talk to the owner. He's inside. Okay. See ya. Sure. Sure. I wish I could meet the Queen. The Queen. Do you want to come with me? Whoop, hold on.
I'm gonna be honest, I always thought bulldogs are kind of ugly. I'm <laughs> sorry. Not all bulldogs, but I don't know. I guess it'll be useful. Maybe if his AI isn't too buggy. We'll see how it goes. So Tommy conscripts, huh? Okay. I'm kind of done with organizations right now after my time with the Vagabonds, but, you know, I'll have a look inside and see. Maybe they have vendors that are worth talking to. The hell's going on in here? Like a fight going on in here or something? You guys don't mind if I just loot everything here? Apparently not. They have, like, cage matches or something here? Where's all the shouting coming from? Yeah? Also, your food factory seems to be non-functioning right now. Weapon workbench, nice. Huh? Hmm, jumpsuit here. If I wanted to be a Prilla Dog employee. Oh, here we go. Mr. Handy's mindlessly stuffing tins of chum. We're flesh and blood and irradiated spirit stuffing tins of chum. But we're still real people with real needs. Like bathroom breaks. We demand those too. And if we don't get them, we'll strike. We'll throw down our tools and stuff tins no more. Fair treatment for fair work. Fair treatment for fair work. Unless you want fair unemployment, get back to work. I thought I was going to shoot the guy, to be honest. Yes? This the guy? You. You don't work for me. What are you doing on my factory floor? Um, I heard a commotion. So you're the type to stick their nose in other people's business, huh? You could be just what I've been looking for. Speak to me in my office. I have a business proposal for you. Hmm, that's... that took a turn. Not a bad turn. Kind of interesting. Well, I don't mind if I do. Since none of it's stealing and all. That is not stealing, or that is stealing.
Good. I thought you were a smart one. That's why I want to offer you a job. I'm not stuffing tins of chum. Nor would I let you. This job concerns Alan Calloway, the ne'er-do-well you heard earlier. He needs to be dealt with. He's bad for morale, not to mention my profits. But I can't touch him. His following among the rabble grows daily. He seems to have it out for me, personally. He verbally attacks me at every turn, and I've been at my wit's end all month. No idea what to do. And then, who but an avenging angel graced my doorstep? What say you? Will you return this factory to peace? Um... Isn't there a peaceful way to do this? I've tried the peaceful approach. I bought him off. He just pocketed the tickets and kept on going. He's more money hungry than I am. Oh, I'm one short of perception. I guess there's no other option but violence. Well, I can try this, can't I? Maybe? Oh, I don't, do I? And your five seconds here gives you clarity. Alan must be dealt with post-haste. Okay, um... Guess there's no other option but violence. Glad you see it my way. He takes but I don't really want to do it. Break right about now. Meet me in the break room for a chat with Alan. I'm not gonna kill Alan. I don't know. This guy certainly see, seems like a horrible person. Um, I don't know why I would side with this shady business owner over Alan. What we have here, what does this say? Perhaps we can get some more info here. If I can actually read it by changing my FOV. That's a bit better. Even further, maybe. Okay, that's pretty zoomed in. Let's see here. Urgent. Tommy Quota Directive. Message. Attention all workers. We are failing miserably to meet the Tommy Quota for this month. The gentry overseers are breathing down our necks, demanding immediate results. Effective immediately, all workers are to toil relentlessly, forsaking rest until the quota is met. Failure is not an option. Let the machinery roar and the cans be filled without pause. So it's it's the um it's the Tommy's pushing this really, right? Yeah. Brahmin beef shortage. To all workers, in light of the abysmal scarcity of Brahmin beef, we find ourselves plummeting into the need of a replacement in order to continue our Prilidog chum operations. You may feel a desperation grips that desperation grips us as we seek alternative ingredients but this is not the case we have found alternatives in order to prevent the factory from grinding to a a, a halt get back to work or face their dire, dire consequences what's the alternative though demanding ingredient trials here this research team with our backs against the wall we demand that you commence trials on the proposed substitute ingredients immediately for you to explain Expedite this process will result in severe punishment. We will not tolerate any delay in the discovery of an acceptable replacement. Our very survival hangs in the balance. Ingredient success report. Message acceptable news. After much grumbling and dissatisfaction, we have managed to find a marginally tolerable replacement for Brahmin beef in our Prilodong Chunk. <laughs> Prilladong. Prilladog chum. Do not celebrate. This is a mere reprieve. Continue producing production at all costs. <laughs> I'm never going to say it the right way again now. <laughs> oh my god. Continue production at all costs. Our existence will not 
be a fleeting shadow. What the hell is this guy on about? How he talks is so weird. Imperative payment deadline reminder. Message last warning. Today marks the final opportunity to meet the Tommy quota and avoid the wrath of our gentry overlords. By some miracle, we have scraped by this month, but the guillotine of punishment still looms overhead. Celebrate not, for our toil shall only intensify as we march into the abyss of another month. How cheerful! I wonder if this is actually true or if he's just telling him this stuff to get him to work harder. <sighs> I'm not stimpacking him. That, you know what? Um, yeah, we're gonna split up, dude. Alrighty, I'm done. Whatever. I I guess we're just staying here. Good luck. What are you doing here? Yet another unauthorized break. Do you think I care? You can't touch me. And you know it. Everyone out there loves me. Or at least hates me less than you. Pretty soon, I'll be sitting behind your desk and making a difference. Nice dream. Too bad it's time to wake up. Meet your alarm clock. Who are you? Um... I'm just gonna be quiet. Yeah, you're definitely creepy. No talking with you, is there? 100 tickets. I'll pay you 100 tickets. Let's see who top that. Easy. You think I'll be that stingy when I'm behind your desk? What do you say, stranger? I'll match Arvin's offer now and give you more straight from his desk. He's gonna give me the- he's gonna match me, so I mean, hey. Um... Okay, Alan, let's do- wait, hold on. I- I- let's make sure we're doing the right thing here. Um... Yeah, sorry, Harvin, I'm going with a better offer. Backstabbing bastard. Yeah. What can I say? Probably not gonna hit him from this far away. There we go. French coat and top hat. Very nice. I knew I liked you from the moment you walked through those factory doors. As promised, a bundle of tickets with your name on them. And don't worry about the body. The strays outside can have him for tea. Right then. For that bit extra, I promised. Take every tin of Prilla Dog Chum in this room. Now get out of here so I can get to work. <laughs> you just want to take over... The job from him and not have to work so hard. You're gonna be just as bad as him in the future, I'm sure. So every kind of Prilla dog oh right here, okay, I see. Yeah, but it's it's the gravy it's a dog food. No. Oh, I don't really want that stuff. At least I got a nice hat and stuff. Are you still following me, Churchill? Because I don't really want you to, because you're gonna be a pain in the butt. And requires stim packs all the time because of the bad AI. So, I killed your boss. Huh? Okay, yeah, you don't seem to care. Same stuff we saw earlier, I think. Alright, let me get the FOV fixed. Before I forget. Still lots of containers. Hi, Jeff, you have a different outfit. Yes. Why is your outfit so different? Yeah. Hi. How are you? It looks almost like a power armor outfit. 
You guys have some power armor stashed around here? I guess I could go up and loot the um, chest up there too, yeah? Not really anybody to stop me at this point. Yeah, we'll just close these. Ah, here we go. What do we have here? The back, the factory basement access. We're just gonna take all that. Interesting. Factory base. I didn't see a basement entrance area, but we did just go into that. Let's see. That does not look very healthy. Does not sound very good. Sounds like a ghoul. Is that what we're using in here? Is for the the dog food? Is it ghouls? It really wouldn't surprise me. This is Fallout after all. Don't mind me, I'm just looting all your stuff. None of it's stealing, so... Okay, so basement, yes. War is mean. That's true. Very insightful. Huh? They don't say much, do they? Ah, here we go. Well, the swipe card didn't work, but this did. Um, if they're working for the gentry, are we gonna find ourselves talking to the gentry now? Oh, we're going up. I thought we'd be going down if we're talking to the gentry, but maybe not. Ground floor. This seems ominous. What have I stumbled into? What am, what am I looking at here, man? What are we... What are we canning here? Dog food mystery meat. It's gotta be at least cannibalism, if not ghouls. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's definitely people. Yep. To think I ate some... Hi. Cal, I guess you work here. Is 
Is there nowhere else I can go or do anything here without getting to that computer? I can't shut it all down. Can't go through here. Am I missing anything? I thought there'd be more to this. I thought that I'd, I'd like, I was gonna meet the gentry and it was gonna be, <laughs> it was gonna be a big thing and stuff down here, but I guess not. I guess we just see that they're, they're indeed cutting up people and uh, packaging them for food, which I kind of assumed. But now we know for sure. And uh, that's really all there is to it. I can't I can't hack this, so that seems like that's kind of all we can do. I can't even talk to this guy, so. I could shoot him. He might have some nice armor. But he doesn't seem hostile, so I don't really want to just shoot him. Maybe we can do more later? I don't know. Going up. Maybe if we had sided with the other guy, there'd be more to the story? I don't know. Ground floor. Maybe you'd have more uh story more you know stuff for us. I hope we didn't make a mistake by going the less evil route and then, like, cutting off what could have been an interesting story. That is kind of what it seems like, though. This is all the same stuff we've seen before. I think most of the loot that I'm getting is from Scrounger, by the way. I don't think it's from, like, the base game, because there was, like, nothing in these in the base game, but in Scr but the Scrounger you find ammo like this and caps and such pretty often. Adds up pretty quickly. <coughs> you okay, bud? Hi, how are you? You actually talk to me. Yes. There was another area we couldn't go into as well. Right over here. I don't think this is actually any different than just going around, though. Yeah, it's like the same place, so... Uh... That's, this is not it either. Yeah, there's nothing new here, really. Well, at least we got a bunch of ammo, I guess. By just looting all the various cabinets and such, but that seems to be about it, guys. This goes back out to where we were. Anything catch your eye? Oh, you got uh quality goods. Just dog food. Okay. And that's all you will buy is food. I'm good. Goodbye. Okay, we made a lot of money at least. I guess that's something. Go anything you need. Were you going to say something else before I talked to you? Read, take it. I'm not fucking eating dog food. If you're brave enough to eat this shit, go ahead. 
I even left you a spoon. Dig in. Huh. Okay. All right, I guess that's it. Nothing else I can do here. I, I'm really curious if there was more to this that we could have done. Maybe this would have been how we got in with the gentry. I don't think I'd want to anyway, though. All the factions in London can burn, for all I'm concerned. All right, well, uh, I guess that's that for this, uh, this place, so... I think we'll end this episode here. We've made a ways, made our way up towards uh, Thames Haven. We're very close, not far at all now, but we'll have to wait till next time to get there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.